the development of China's semiconductor industry is at a crucial juncture, facing both external pressures and internal challenges. The external landscape has become increasingly challenging due to the United States and the West's crackdown on China. Domestically, China's semiconductor industry is entering a critical phase of independent development. Despite the steady growth in the number of Chinese chip design companies in recent years, with a total of 2,218 in 2020 according to the China Semiconductor Industry Association, only a few have market influence and ecosystem dominance. Complaints and ridicule about this situation are common, with many wondering why, despite China's rapid economic and technological growth, the country still relies on imported chips. Is China lacking funds or scientists, or is there some other reason why it can't produce high-end chips? There are many factors at play here, but today, we won't delve into that issue. What we are discussing today is the potential change in this scenario, and even Chinese Academy of Engineering academician Xu Juyan has mentioned that China has great potential in this field. Could this be an excellent opportunity for China to overtake in the curve in the chip industry? Is this truly a golden opportunity for China to rise in the semiconductor field? Well, let's explore that in today's video. Let's get started. As Moore's law falters and advanced processes slow down, chiplet technology, which leveraged packaging to compensate for process technology limitations, has emerged as a new path for chip development. Both China and the United States are accelerating the commercialization of chiplet technology. Yes, today we are discussing chiplet, also known as small chips or chiplets, a technology route that has gained significant attention in the chip manufacturing field in recent years. Chiplet involves modularizing the capabilities of different chips and using new design, interconnection, and packaging techniques to integrate chips from various technologies, processes, and even factories into a single packaged product. This not only meets the diverse and differentiated market demands but also significantly reduces chip development costs. For China, the biggest attraction of chiplet technology is its ability to pair chip products from different process nodes while reducing costs. By adding or removing chiplets, different products with varying feature sets can be created. For example, a single chip may include storage, communication, an NPU, neural processing unit, modules, which can be paired with different nodes like 28 nanometers, 14 nanometers, or 7 nanometers, interconnected by an I.O. die, thereby achieving performance and functionality similar to a 7 nanometers chip. This helps reduce the impact of the United States restrictions on advanced technology. Chiplet technology allows China to build a strategic inventory of central processing units, CPUs, and graphics processing units, GPUs, at the core of computers and electronic devices. Chiplets are of great significance to China in addressing the bottleneck in advanced chip technology, providing an opportunity to stockpile chiplet processor chips for later use in producing more powerful processors. China can also take advantage of mature 28 nanometers process chips and, through chiplet packaging, make their performance and functionality approach that of 16 nanometers or even 7 nanometers process chips. The chiplet trend is currently dominated by two countries, the United States and China. In early August, the Global Chiplet Ecosystem Alliance, UCIE, was established by chip giants like Intel, AMD, Qualcomm, and NVIDIA. They announced an update to the 1.1 specification, aiming to establish compliance and interoperability testing requirements for the chiplet ecosystem. Additionally, they formed an automotive working group to promote the application of chiplet technology in automotive systems. Prior to this, AMD unveiled the world's first CPU, central processing unit, and GPU, graphics processing unit, coupled AI accelerator chip called Instinct MI300, boasting a staggering 1.46 trillion transistors, achieved by utilizing 13 chiplets for enhanced performance. AMD plans to begin mass production of this chip in the second half of this year, surpassing NVIDIA's offerings. Meanwhile, China is actively positioning itself in the chiplet technology ecosystem. On August 4, Alibaba and Fishium Technology announced their membership in the UCIE alliance. On August 7, Fishium Technology, a Chinese chip IP company, disclosed in its financial report that it could become one of the first companies in the world to launch commercially available chiplet products for customers. They have successfully taped out a 5 nanometers system on chip, SOC, based on this technology. China has also initiated the Chiplet Interconnect Industry Fund, the country's first vertical industry fund focused on chiplet chip design. 
Moreover, they have launched a domestic chiplet developer competition to drive the application of chiplet technology in China. In fact, as early as the 1970s, there was a concept in the industry similar to chiplet known as multi-chip module, MCM, which later expanded into multi-chip packaging, MCP, and multi-component integrated circuits, MCO. Starting from the 16 nanometers per 14 nanometers nodes, chip design and manufacturing costs skyrocketed, and the update cycle for a fully scaled process node extended from 18 months to 30 months or even longer. The benefits in power, performance, and area, PPA, brought about by semiconductor process technology development started to decline. Today's most advanced chips contain billions of transistors, but extending chip functionality has become increasingly challenging with the diminishing returns on price, performance, and power advantages outpacing transistor scaling, particularly beyond 3 nanometers when fin FET, fin field effect transistor, technology loses momentum. Furthermore, in terms of cost, chip manufacturing expenses continue to rise with process technology upgrades. As an example, during the mainstream adoption of advanced process nodes, the design cost for a single chip was approximately $40 million for the 28 nanometers node. $217 million for the 7 nanometers node, $416 million for the 5 nanometers node, and it's estimated to reach $590 million for the 3 nanometers node. Hence, considering factors such as the overall cost of chip manufacturing and efficiency, breaking down a larger chip into multiple smaller chips that can be mixed and matched as needed becomes a cost effective and high yield solution. This has given rise to chiplet technology. According to research firm Omdia, the market size for chiplets is expected to reach $5.8 billion by 2024, which is nine times the size of the $645 million market in 2018. By 2035, the market is projected to expand further to over $57 billion, approximately 415.1 billion yen, which is 88 times the 2018 size. Chiplet technology is expected to see significant growth opportunities. Today, both domestic and international companies related to chiplets are actively entering the race and strategically positioning themselves in the chiplet technology field. Emerging technologies are appearing across various aspects of the industry chain, including architecture design, interconnection interfaces, manufacturing, and advanced packaging. Based on statistics, enterprises and organizations in China engaged in chiplet-related research and development mainly fall into four categories. Companies specializing in computational chip design, such as Cambrican, Bitmain Technologies, and Rockchip. EDAIP, Intellectual Property, companies like Fishium Technology, SeaSky Microsystems, and Sci5. Emerging packaging design service companies focused on providing chiplet design solutions for enterprises, including Quectal Wireless Solutions. Back end testing and manufacturing companies like Changshin Memory Technologies, Huachian Technology. Tongfu Microelectronics, and Yongsik Electronics. Moreover, chiplet standards have gained significant attention. In China, key players include the Institute of Computing Technology of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, CAS, the Electronic Standardization Institute of the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology, MIIT, as well as companies like Huawei and ZTE, along with various research institutes. Internationally, the UCIE Alliance takes a leading role. Additionally, the Interuniversity Microelectronics Center, IMEC, in Europe is also conducting chiplet related research. Currently, foreign companies are advancing rapidly in the chiplet direction with several products already in development. For instance, TSMC, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, is working on a technology called System on Integrated Chip, SOIC, which provides customers with 3D chip designs. AMD has been deeply involved in chiplet technology with their 7 nanometers CPU and GPU products currently utilizing chiplet designs and packaging. In the future, AMD plans to reduce interconnect costs through interposer boards and denser connections, directly stack memory chips on computing chips, and implement 3D stacking technologies for chip packaging. However, the use of chiplet technology is currently constrained by various factors, including ecosystem challenges testing complexities, lack of standards, and concerns related to chip-to-chip -chip interconnects, manufacturing yields, uniform standards, security, and reliability. For instance, the current industry approach to chiplets involves designing and packaging each chip separately, which can introduce latency between chips and may not be as efficient as desired. Chiplets require more work in terms of design, validation, and modeling, 
and testing must be ongoing throughout a product's entire life cycle. The challenge with chiplets is to identify issues early in the life cycle, ideally before the devices or packaged products leave the factory, to avoid redesigns and production delays. Furthermore, chiplets require standardized interfaces for scalability and flexibility. However, multiple manufacturers have their own proprietary protocols, making it challenging to address the integration of manufacturing and packaging with electrical standards. Protocols are necessary to ensure data integrity across systems. Additionally, as chip designs incorporating chiplets become larger in scale, packaging complexity increases, introducing risks of warping, reduced reliability, increased power consumption, larger physical footprints, and added latency. These factors directly impact chip performance, physical layouts, memory transfers, testing, and more. Experts in the field indicate that chiplet technology faces challenges due to the overall development level of the Chinese semiconductor industry. While China has shown enthusiasm and enterprise in the chiplet arena, the ecosystem in the country still needs to establish a unified standard system. The industry as a whole should provide a more detailed strategic development direction for chiplet technology. In the absence of unified standards, efforts can be made to achieve compatibility at the physical layer, which presents the most significant opportunity. China currently has advantages in chiplet technology, including leading advanced packaging companies, the proposal of chiplet interconnect interface protocol standards, and a relatively complete ecosystem involving upstream and downstream enterprises and academic institutions. Indeed, in the eyes of experts, chiplet technology isn't so much about overtaking in the curve, as it is about being on the right track all along. The perception of overtaking may stem from the competitive dynamics between nations in understanding and embracing this technology. Currently, chiplet technology has the potential to replace advanced processes or traditional integrated circuit techniques in certain application areas. For China, driven by competitive pressures between nations, it has become necessary to pursue the path of chiplet technology. There are still ongoing debates surrounding the development of chiplet technology, such as its suitability for chip designs in scenarios like mobile phones and automotive communications, as well as concerns about monopolies on standards by certain enterprises. Chiplet technology continues to evolve and will have a long-term impact on the semiconductor industry. Whether China's chiplet technology and ecosystem can establish a leading position globally is a matter for anticipation. This concludes our discussion for today. We welcome you to watch, share, and leave your thoughts in the comments section. Until next time.